Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your July 2020 tarot check. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And thank you so much to everyone who's been watching, subscribed, liked, commented, shared. I so appreciate that. And I appreciate you. And I've had a few inquiries about uh, personal readings. I'm not doing that at this time. And the main reason is my schedule. And um, I just don't want to start something that I end up not having time to, to run with and to really do with fidelity. As ta Tarot is sac sacred to me. Sorry, I'm stammering here. I'm starting to focus on the cards a little more than talking, I guess. But, you know, Tarot is sacred and I would never want to start doing something where my energy is not stable and balanced and really ready to read. I just, I won't get on here if I'm like that, which is kind of infrequent for me anyway. I tend to be pretty balanced, but um, I just, yeah, so that's why. But if that changes, I will let you know, all right? And if you are new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. If you tap the bell, you'll get notifications when new videos are posted, but it's every week, all right? So you can always just check back if you don't like notifications. So let's get some guidance here. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Guidance for Pisces, please. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for you guys this month. Well, I left this one behind, so I'm gonna take this out. Um, it would have been on the bottom of the deck anyway, which we include. So your current situation is the Eight of Cups. But it's covered, oh my God, I love this, by the Nine of Cups. Do you understand how hard it is when you shuffle these cards? I mean, they in, are read and reread and cleared to get two cups or two cards in order like that. Okay, you've got the Eight and then the Nine of Cups. That's significant. So we'll get into that in a minute. Your destiny, you have the King of Wands. And there's, there's a message here, an important one. Um, the, the more distant past, you have the Three of Wands. The more recent past, you have the Six of Pentacles. Coming towards you, you have the Two of Swords. The, you're represented here by the Devil. Um, the person around you is the Page of Pentacles. Your hopes here is the King of Cups. And then you've got the Three of Pentacles in the outcome, and then I always do the bottom two, so I'll reveal now what fell out. The two of pentacles are what I left behind, and the three of cups. So this is very a very interesting reading. Um, you have Capricorn here. You certainly have water, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got, um, you do have a little bit of fire, but you got pentacles quite dominantly here, predominantly, however you'd like to say that. So Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus here. Um, but you have, um, you know, right off the bat, I feel like you may have left something behind, um, walked away from a situation. And what's interesting, you know, you need to pay attention, we need to pay attention to the cards here. The cups are all upright. And this card really is about leaving a situation that actually was fairly happy. It was not a terrible, like awful situation, but it's really about moving forward, moving on. So for some of you, this could certainly be about work where you're moving on from a career that's treated you well, but it's time to move up. And maybe maybe there's nothing left for you there to, um, to gain, but moving on, and that could be a relationship too, where maybe it turned into more of a, like a roommate kind of situation. Um, and it wasn't a bad relationship, but it was, time to move on or it was time to take it to the next level. That also could be the thing in this, that there's something about taking a relationship to the next level. Um, because then you have the Nine of Cups, okay? And I mentioned that, you know, these cards get shuffled over and over and over again. And when you see an alignment in the tarot like this, when it just appears, that's important. So what you're moving on from, you're moving into wish fulfillment, okay? It's happy, it's happiness, it's hospitality, but it's like not quite complete because it is a nine of cups. Um, but I definitely feel like there's something here that really moves you. 
Um, it moves your heart. It touches your soul. It's, um, it really is that wish fulfillment. So ascending. So again, in a relationship, it certainly could be moving to a higher level. Um, or it could be moving on from a career that's been good to you, but it's time to go to that next notch. And I just saw, a. Uh, uh, Maserati in my head. Okay. He's also about the material world. He's proud of those cups. So somebody here could end up, I don't know, attracting in some really wealth. Wealth is coming towards you. So your destiny here with this King of Wands, again, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but he is, um, charismatic. You know, your destiny here, whether you want it or not, is kind of like being the center of attention being a leader. Um, and again, with the, the move here for somebody here, cause you got a lot of pentacles in this, there's going to be something that brings in money. Um, and it, again, this is a leader, very charismatic energy. And this is sort of like, because it's fire energy, it's like that spark of a good idea, right? That spark that ignites a flame. That's little, you know, um, beginning, beginning bit of fire that starts a, starts a, um, you know, huge bonfire or something. Um, but again, you are, your destiny here is to have people and friends around you who are really revel in your good ideas and your positive spirit. Because with, um, with this card, this is really about having a conquering spirit. So if some of you have been kind of broken and down and and had, had to leave something behind, you've got a conquering spirit as your destiny, all right? And so it brings you, um, it brings you forward, but the, the distant past here tells a bit of a story of this three of wands here. And this is about, you know, it's about waiting. It's about, he sends his ships off and then he kind of, comfortably waits for them to return. So some of you may have been waiting on something, whether, it, like I said, with a relationship, whether it's trying to take it to the next level and kind of watching and seeing and observing and thinking and maybe even overthinking a little bit. Um, but it's it's definitely, too, um, important to note that you have three threes in this, all right? So some of you may have had something else going on here where a relationship was not that much of a priority. There was something else um, that was a, a deterrent from that, whether it was just focusing on work and or focusing on health or taking care of somebody maybe who was sick and needed help. That certainly could be a possibility, especially with the six of pentacles. Again, it's it's balance. Um, and it's it's also about balancing each other out, but these are two very three very different energies. Um, okay, so they they need help and they're glad to receive it, but this person's in an elevated position. For, so for some of you, you may have been taking care of somebody. I definitely get that, and it's caused a situation where you weren't able to maybe move forward in the way that you wanted to um, in life, and and that could be broad. It could be with a relationship, but it could also be work. If there was some feeling of commitment towards something where you felt um, responsible. Um, this is where private readings would be good because I'd get feedback there and know, you know, um, more about you. But I do get that. Somebody had a, sort of this feeling of caretaking, of responsibility. Um, and there's a lot of energy of giving in this too, by the way. So in the, the upcoming future, you've got something here where you're at a crossroads. And there's strong emotions here, okay? With these folded arms, the bottom hand holds the sword of fear. The top hand holds the sword of anger, all right? So your your guidance here is to just be careful because these she's precariously perched on this, this uh, little bench here, but she could easily topple over into all this water with the weight of these feelings, all right? So be aware of that because you don't want to lash out in anger. If there's somebody that pokes at you or tries to, to get to you, get into that soft underside, that thing that you're trying to protect, okay? Um, she's very protective of her heart. She does not want to be hurt. And I do feel like there's some element in here 
that may be related to not being able to move on, being kind of caught in the middle of something. So again, this feeling of responsibility keeps coming up and like you're caught in the middle of not wanting to move on but feeling responsible for somebody in some way and it's keeping you stuck a little bit, all right? So again, tarot is your best friend that tells you the truth, right? It's not, uh, it's not fluffy all the time. It's got you going though. <laughs> It's got a squirrel cage in your head, this hamster wheel in your head that does not stop turning um, with the devil. This represents you. And I don't feel like you're being devilish or trying to hurt anybody by, by any means. It feels much more like an obsessive thought pattern of indecision, confusion, trying to replay a lot of different scenarios and then figure out what to do with the Three of Pentacles coming up, this is Capricorn too, by the way, um, it feels like you could stand some guidance, like somebody who you trust who's been through this before, who doesn't have a vested interest in terms of leaning on you, because sometimes you can be a little bit impressionable and, um, and not, you know, because especially when we're indecisive and we're, we're looking for an answer, not somebody that has an ego in it where they want you to take a certain route or where they get a kick out of giving people advice to then watch them enact their advice. You know, you need somebody very impartial with this. Um, and that's just where, what I'm getting, but there's definitely an obsessive quality. And for some of you too, if it's a relationship where you're really thinking about taking it to the next level, there's this part of you that's attached to fear and it's just like you keep thinking the what ifs, like what if it doesn't work out and we move in together and this wasn't the right thing to do. There's sort of this dialogue, this inner monologue that keeps going. A lot of noisy stuff. So meditation's great for that. Now, the person around you um, is the Page of Pentacles and certainly is a younger feeling energy, um, but they, they also might just be kind of a kid at heart. So this Page of Pentacles is bringing an offer, all right? They're bringing in, if it's a job, it's money. There's going to be money showing up. Um, in terms of a relationship, though, it's, um, it's definitely like a commitment. And there's a bit of luck with this, too. There's timing with it and just kind of like the right timing just seems to align with it. Um, but they're, they're definitely, this person's definitely playful and energetic. Um, you know, I guess as far as being a page, they're a little more, um, sensible than some of the other ones, but, um, you know, it's also too about like the way that he's looking at this. I feel like this person looks at you like that. Like they see the good in you. They see, um, a future with you and, um, they, they definitely want to, they don't, they don't have eyes for anybody else. All right. So your hopes here, you got the King of Cups and, um, you know, the King of Cups is uh, definitely a very stable, nurturing energy. This is somebody who can communicate their feelings and wanting to have a relationship like this where, you know, you're able to open and freely communicate and um, express emotions without any fear of what that can do, to, what that will do. But it's also too about growing together and like wanting to motivate each other, inspire each other. And it's, he can have kind of a fatherly energy about him. He's like that ideal supportive father that, you know, coaches everybody and he just loves his family. And it's very much like that. But um, I definitely feel like you, you want a relationship where you, interrelate and kind of co-mingle and mix in a way that is safe. There's just sort of this feeling of safety. Um, somebody might be moving in together with the three of pentacles here. Like I said, somebody's ascending in a relationship and this is an architect meeting with a, a sculptor meeting with an architect and a monk. And so they're kind of enjoying this, this, um, you know, enjoying these plans, making plans, but there's also for you, there's there's plans of a commitment. There's plans of a future here. And there's stability. There is, for work-related stuff, it's great. It's teamwork. It's working together. It's a new beginning, for sure. And definitely 
a further opportunity for you. So if you have been thinking about moving on, here it comes. And um, it's definitely being happy. It's building a foundation and it's a very, it feels like a very trustworthy place to work. It's the kind of place where they put a package together and an offer and it's exactly what they say they are gonna offer. Um, and this, the same thing with a relationship, what you see is what you get with this. Um, it's very straightforward. So I do think that in making an, a decision here, again, you've got number alignment with a two and a three. All right. Um, oh, excuse me. He's, I don't know why I was thinking he was two of cups. I have no idea why I thought that. I apologize. Strike that. Um, the two of pentacles. He does have this infinity symbol though. Okay. So he kind of juggles and kicks around and analyzes his decision. But ultimately, you know, what you've got here is a time of celebration. I think it'll be a much relief to balance things out and kind of get off of this emotional roller coaster. Um, you know, this three of cups too, if you've been in a long distance relationship, I, it does feel like it relates to that three of pentacles. There may again be somebody who moves to um, be closer. Um, and that could certainly re relate to a job too. But um, with this Three of Cups, it's definitely a joyful celebratory time. And um, if there was a lesson that needed to be learned, it's been learned, all right, with those two together. So beautiful reading for you guys. Um, and we're gonna close things off with an Oracle card to attract more love. Spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. All right, so especially if you have distance for some reason, it's time to bridge the gap there and we'll close off with um, asking, or excuse me, um, Life Loves You from Louise Hay. I love being me. Stop trying to be so normal. Be more of the real you. Show the world who you are. So um, just accepting, you know, who, who you are and being true to yourself and being out there. I apologize. I had to stop the recording because there was a loud noise in the background. So if it, if this makes no sense, I apologize for that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love you very much Pisces and I wish you all the best and I'll be back again soon.